outlawbrothers.com. Watch Off the Clock, weekdays at 2 on KTLA 5. Now at four, caught in the act, a sheriff's deputy walks into a 7-Eleven as a group of men are trying to rob it. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. And I'm Sandra Mitchell. This all happened on Saturday. Surveillance cameras capturing that entire incident on video and all four suspects were taken into custody. Tonight, that deputy is talking about his experience with us. KTLA's Rachel Menetoff is live in Carson with more. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sandy. Well, over the weekend, we heard from the 7-Eleven clerks who survived this scary encounter. Now we're hearing from the Carson Sheriff's deputy who just so happened to walk inside as the robbery was in progress. He had just ended his shift. He was going in to get a drink. He says it was a right place, right time kind of situation, and his training kicked into gear. When I stopped by, I saw a vehicle that was already parked there, and I felt it kind of strange. I tried looking inside the uh, uh, windows, but I couldn't see anything much because of the advertisement. And uh, once I opened the door, that's when I realized that there was a ro armed robbery in progress. What was going through your mind when you walked inside? I was honestly surprised. I was surprised that as soon as I opened the door, uh, the robbery was in progress. And I, the only thing that came to my mind after that was my training tactics that was provided by the Sheriff's Department. After that, it was like it t suddenly took over me and I did what I could to one stay alive and make sure that this outcome was resolved, resolved uh, peacefully. And this is the incredible surveillance video showing the moment the would-be robbers storm the 7-Eleven store, jump the counter, and threaten the clerks on duty with a gun. No more than a minute later, Deputy Luis Cisneros unknowingly walks inside, realizes what's happening, draws his weapon, and calls for backup. And that's how they were able to arrest the four people inside. And while this is all happening, one of the clerks told us he dropped to the ground, threw his wallet and cell phone to the side, and just prayed for his safety. He told us he felt incredibly relieved when he heard the deputy's voice, knowing at that moment he was going to be safe. Deputy Cisneros told us this was a dangerous situation that could have gone a lot of different ways. Listen to what he did immediately afterwards. The first thing I did was call my wife. I told her I love her, and I just kind of kept talking to her about the scenario because we always have those what-if moments. What if I would have parked somewhere else? What if I would have done something differently? What if? What if? But thankfully, I'm blessed of the outcome. And within the last week, there have been seven robberies at 7-Eleven stores across L.A. and Long Beach. Deputies so far are not saying whether this incident is related to the others in the area. That's the very latest from Carson. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Sandy Sam, back to you in the studio. Rachel, thank you. Tense moments during a church service in Placentia after a police rush in, detain a man who was reportedly spotted with a gun near a school. Blessed are those called to supper of life. This happened after several people reported hearing gunfire near Valencia High School. Police responded to the scene and found the man sitting in a pew inside St. Joseph Catholic Church. After the man was taken into custody, the church was evacuated so police could look for the gun. No weapon has yet been found. There were multiple witnesses uh, who reported hearing a gunshot. So it's not like where you get the one where it's fireworks or something like that. When you have multiple, it definitely, uh, you know, lends to be incredible. As a precaution, several nearby schools were locked down, including Valencia High School, which is located across the street from the church. All right, now to the search for this man. Take a look. He's been caught in the act setting old Christmas trees on fire. This is Belmont Shore. He caused thousands of dollars worth of damage. They hope to catch the suspect before he strikes again. KTLA 5's Jennifer McGraw joins us live from Belmont Shore with more on this arson investigation. Hi, Jen. Sam and Sandy, neighbors around here say they installed cameras after recent rash in crimes hoping to deter criminals. But in this case, they're just hoping to catch the criminal responsible for nearly setting this home on fire. Caught on camera, a passerby trying to set a group of Christmas trees on fire in a back alley. After a failed attempt, sets paper on fire. Within less than two minutes, you can see in this sped up video, the trees are fully engulfed. 
sending flames shooting up an electric